What is your special occasion fragrance? Leave it in the comment section below. I would love to know. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree. Welcome. If you happen to be returning, welcome back and thank you so much. And I'm super excited to see you. I hope you are all doing well, staying in and staying safe. I have a super fun video planned for us today, you guys. I got this idea from watching TikTok. And if you do not know what TikTok is, it is an app that will take your entire life because it's so entertaining. I find myself just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. Some of the skits on there are super fun. I also learned through that app that I cannot dance. Okay, I've been trying to do the renegade. I've been, okay, anyways, girl, we are not here for a TikTok tutorial. So in the TikTok, it gave four different looks. I've actually wanted to make it a little bit funner, so I added a fifth element to it. So here, it went through four different looks. It gave you a work look. I got my notes over here. It gave you a work look, a casual look, a home look, and then a going out look. So I thought it would be fun to put it into fragrance. So I have five fragrances here. One I'm gonna share with you for going out, a special occasion, casual, work, and of course, since we're staying home, I added the fifth one, a home fragrance. If you're ready to see what my five choices are, continue to watch here on this channel. I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. All things fabulous, all things fragrance. So if that sounds like something that you'd be into, consider hitting the subscribe button if you want to ensure, because it does happen sometimes, that you never miss a video, okay? Like never, never, because she's just popping out bonus videos and you don't want to miss one. So if you want to ensure that you never miss a video, go ahead and smash the bell. And without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to start off with the home fragrance since I've been spending a ton of time in the home. Let's start with the home fragrance. You guys, I am going to go with Joe Malone. I've been wearing this. I always wear this. This is like one of my favorite. It's almost gone. I do need to get another one. But Joe Malone is an amazing fragrance. This is Mermosa and Cardamon. And I thought it'd be so fitting because you are staying home. Today is Sunday. Mermosas, Cardamon. I mean, I don't know. I'm just saying this is a beautiful, warm, floral type fragrance. It's beautiful. It's warm. It's inviting to me. It's a little sparkly. It's got cardamom, mimosa, tonka bean, and it's really, really nice, especially if you've just been lounging around. You've taken a shower. You're heading downstairs. You're heading to the living room. You're heading to your family room. Wherever area you're going into the house, this leaves a nice trail. It sits close to the body. I really like it. I even wear this one to bed because it's very comforting. I find it to be a comfort fragrance. I've had this in my closet collection for so many years and I've have repurchased it and repurchased it and it just always feels safe and comforting to me so my home fragrance would be Joe Malone Mermosa and Cardamom it's just all the way around good good I'm gonna wear this down to brunch now let's go to our work fragrance something that you can wear to work something that's not gonna be too loud off-putting you know whether you work in an office whether you work in the field whether you work as a doctor I mean whatever the case is wherever your place of work is and I tried to pick all fragrances that would be appropriate and fitting for right now being that it's spring transitioning into summer so you can wear these right now this one is fresh it's crisp it's clean it is a white floral citrus mandarin grapefruit it has a very citrus opening in the beginning it has some jasmine inside of it it's got sandalwood it's got musk so it's a really nice fragrance Shrey, girl tell us what are you talking about I am talking about your work fragrance this is gonna be none other than Chanel Gabrielle and I love this this fragrance I have amazing stories about this fragrance I'll take 2.5 seconds and tell you a story because you know I love telling stories you guys in 2017 I did go to Paris for my wedding anniversary super excited and I wanted to bring something back I wanted to bring a lot of stuff back okay anyhow so this was one of the things that I brought back it had just launched it had just came out it wasn't even really supposed to be sold yet I oftentimes say I was one of the first ones to receive it my guy and I were there and she had brought it out and I said I wanted to get a fragrance and when she brought it I looked at the bottle the simplicity of it you know I love the double C's everything like that it's just a gorgeous bottle in itself and I had to have it and add it to my collection now fast forward to today they have now since brought out Gabrielle Essence and that is a little deeper darker heavier it's a bit more amplified and it lasts a lot longer the only downside to this and I don't really want to say a downside but the only thing about this that's not so great is that it doesn't perform very well it doesn't last very long so for me instead of you know letting it go to waste I choose to layer my fragrances so I did order the Gabrielle Chanel body deodorant so this you just spray all over your body and then I also layer it with the uh, Gabrielle lotion and so it does last and perform a lot better because I do layer it so if you ever have a fragrance that maybe you know doesn't last doesn't perform well check and see if it has an oil a body lotion 
lotion, some type of spray, and sometimes that helps with longevity. So for our work fragrance, we are gonna go with Gabrielle Chanel. Now, let's move on to, and I'm trying to keep these in order. You're at home, go to work, and then it's casual time. Casual can be anything, lounging around your home, running your errands, going to the grocery store, going to the market, maybe going to get your hair done when we go back out, going to get your hair done, your nails done, you know, a nice pedicure. Oh, that's gonna feel so good. I'm not gonna even discuss me trying to do my own pedicure, okay? I cannot paint inside the lines, you know, to be doing my own pedicure. It's just not a good look. It's just like, what are you doing? So casually, we're hanging around the house. That's going to be Amo by Ferragamo. This is a really nice fragrance, you guys. This is like an oriental floral, so a floriental, oriental, floriental type fragrance. It's really good. I want to spray this one just to remind myself because I have this in my collection, but I don't reach for it often. But it's really, really good. It has some black currant, rosemary, jasmine. It's got rhubarb in it, something that you know a lot of fragrances don't normally have. It does have that rhubarb in here. It does have Tahiti and vanilla. It does have some sandal wood it's a nice moderate type fragrance it does lean a little bit and when I say a little bit I mean a little bit it does lean a little bit sexy and I like that I wore this down to the couch the other day I mean what can I say I'm just doing things over here just going down to the couch going to the kitchen going to the office oh my gosh you guys seriously you can even wear this to lunch if you were gonna go to a light lunch date if you're meeting up with your friends online and you're sitting down and bringing up everybody on Skype zoom I mean Okay, there's so many different people that I just see all of a sudden meeting online and it looks fun If you were just gonna spread something on to do something like that This would be a way to go and this is Ferragamo Ammo that is coming in as our casual fragrance All right now, let's get into the fun stuff getting into our going out fragrance because people we are going back out guys You've got to keep the positive vibes going keep your positive energy going spray your fragrances that make you happy We are going back out and when we get ready to go back out you want to be ready So girl, what are you sharing with us? That's gonna be our going out fragrance I have chosen for our going out fragrance something that's sparkly something that's crisp something that's upbeat, something that's energetic, something that reminds me of champagne because it just fizzes to the top and then it just sparkles. Something that is gonna brighten your day, make you smile, brighten your mood, and that is none other than, are you ready for it? Perfumes de Molly Delina. That's what this is. It's a beautiful bottle in itself. The tassels, we're matching, hey. We are matching over here, hello. Anyways, you guys, so that is Perfumes de Molly Delina. This is such a beautiful fragrance. It reminds me so much of, you know, just going out around Valentine's Day and my guy getting it for me and the whole event that we went through, shopping, going out after brunch. It brings back so many amazing memories already and I've only had it a short time. Oh my gosh, but this is just so good. Every time I spray it, every time I smell it, it makes me happy. It just really does that for me. Fragrance is a, a mood lifter to me. It evokes a memory. It takes me back to a special time and place and I just love it. So if you're sitting home today and you're not feeling the the best or whatever your you know your mood is whatever find your favorite fragrance and just spray it put a little bit on maybe go walk past your vanity or whatever you have your fragrances at you know I don't know where people are keeping their fragrances these days okay you guys the closet wherever pick it up take the cap off do it with me take a sniff and just smile okay so this one is good let me give you some of the notes this is a rose fragrance you guys this is a rose fragrance it's got lychee floral it's got bergamot cedar nutmeg peony it's really a great fragrance but in more than the notes that I would say the rhubarb note in here does pick out it's kind of sour but not really I like it it's kind of a like a sour apple but it's kind of tart but very crisp you know what I mean so it gives that effervescent when why do I love those two words when I talk about this fragrance? I don't know, but that's what it does. And I do find it to be a little sexy. The longevity is definitely there. It definitely leaves a nice scent trail behind when you walk into a room or out of a room. Whether you are, you know, hanging out with your boo or your bae or you were cuddling, you wore this on date night, you wore it on day date, you wore it to brunch. It's just a nice, sexy, but not like a deep, dark, heavy, like oriental or gourmand kind of sexy. To me, it's more of a light, airy, fresh, crisp, but still you know unique 
kind of sexy because that rhubarb note does do something in there that leans a little bit different and I like that. That's why I chose to go with the original instead of the exclusive. I did like the exclusive as well and I may be having that coming. I don't know. I'm just saying. But the reason I chose this one over that one is because I do like that light, effervescent, crisp, sparkling, you know, just fizzy note and it just makes me happy. Okay, now we have homed with Joe Malone. We went to work with Gabrielle Chanel. We wore Ferragamo ammo for our casual. We went with Delina for going back out. Okay, now what are you doing when it gets to the special occasion? A special occasion, everybody deems different things a special occasion. In my opinion, a special occasion, of course, is her birthday. Hello? That is like, a that needs to be a national holiday. My birthday, my birthday is a special occasion. Your birthday is a special occasion. A wedding, an anniversary, maybe something like a first date can be a special occasion you know anything that you just feel like you want to get all dressed up maybe do your hair put on something special put on a nice outfit something where you just feel your best in whatever that is that you do to make yourself feel your best you need a fragrance to top that maybe some of us are women and you're getting your hair done you're putting your makeup on you put in a bold red lip I don't know maybe you're putting your fancy earrings on you know maybe you're putting a little bit of highlight on I don't know but whatever you're doing to complete Complete the look, you need that special occasion fragrance. And what is that gonna be, Shrey? What are you choosing? I am choosing something sexy, something sensual. I don't know, when I think of a special occasion, I just think about me and my guy. It's always a special occasion, so I always tend to go there. But anyways, I'm choosing something with a little bit of saffron in it, some bitter almond inside of it, ambergris in it, maybe some Egyptian jasmine in it. Girl, what are you talking about? Something that would be suiting for a man or a woman, something that would be suited for everybody. New to my collection. So excited about it cannot put it down it just makes me happy the bottle stands out that is none other than Baccarat Rouge 540 the extrite version yes yes and yes you guys this is uber 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 good this is something you would put on going to any special occasion black tie occasion formal occasion a wedding an anniversary a first date whatever the case may be this fits a perfect and special occasion if you're looking and you have a special occasion to go to and you want a fragrance to go with that special occasion this would be a fabulous choice if you like some of the notes that I did mention which I mentioned it has amber in it it has ambergris in it saffron in it cedar in it bitter almond it's a little different from the original I find this one to be softer I find it to be easier to wear I find it to be not as harsh or pungent or strong as the other one but it is definitely still the same fragrance in that same family I just feel instead of it being toned up I feel it to be a little bit more toned down and I do find it to be a tad bit sexier I do find it to be a little bit sexier. I think this smells fabulous on a man, of course. I had my guy wear it, and it also smells amazing on women. This would be a fabulous choice to wear if you were looking for something to wear on a special occasion. You guys, this is my top five, or this is my top five at the moment, okay? I always have to say at the moment, you guys, because you can come back in three days from now, and I would have a whole nother top five. So at this very moment, these would be the top five fragrances, you guys, that I would wear for staying at home, for going to work, casually for going out and then definitely a special occasion thanks so much for taking the time to stop by my videos you guys I always appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch it it truly means a lot if you have not hit the subscribe button yet and you like the vibe here okay go ahead and hit the subscribe button don't forget to hit the bell I will see you guys in the next video until next time you know the drill be blessed stay fit and definitely stay fabulous thanks for watching guys bye